Hello, and welcome to CopTubeAmerica.com, where we teach you the elements of criminal law, those who are 13 to 17. All right, we're getting there. I'm going to keep saying it, keeping you motivated. We're loosening up a little bit here, but please do take your test. Keep in order with things, okay? One is not 60. <laughs> do not start at 60. Do not start at 100 and work your way back. Okay? Things start with plotting and planning. The most basic things done here on this earth is done privately or with someone. Okay? And then it also is accessory, but somebody is helping folk out commit these crimes. So, if you started abandoning property, not cool. Because there's a plotting and a planning. And I want y'all to understand the fun fundamental things that go on in the mind, in the spirits of people. But trust me, right here is the playing ground. These little things help. And too bad I can't show you my feet. Because I go, Dur. those little things help down here. Okay? Those feet take you places. Don't say you didn't want to go. People who commit crimes, these two things that are on the floor and covered by a thing called shoes, and hopefully you got your feet in some socks, okay? If you're walking around barefooted, those things that have skin and tools, they call them tools, they take you places. Those things are attached to ankles, that are attached to knees, that are attached to hips, to carry you along to the place you plan on committing your acts. Get it? What are acts? These things. How many acts do you have to commit before you are arrested and hauled in to see a magistrate? Then you get your arraignment. Then the judge truly will see you. You, you may have two separate judges now. Remember that. I don't know how a lot of systems work. Everybody does things differently. It depends on the state or the district that you're in. A judge might get sick and then another judge has to step in. Okay? So don't put all your eggs in one basket and think things are set in stone. No, they're not. But I'm going to tell you what is set in stone. These 100. Don't break them. Just like my mother said, don't you dare do it. Don't be like the rest of them. All right? Don't be like your friends. Don't be like those kids in school. Don't be like that wild group over there. All right? You understand that now. These tapes are not videoed and they're not edited. I got some good medicine for you. Take it. A spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down in a most delightful way. <laughs> All right. We're on to evidence tampering. Ooh. Now you done came into our territory, and we sure enough going to get you. All right? We catch people who want to tamper with evidence. Don't do it. Look at um, forensic files. All of that, forensics. We can tell people who tamper with evidence. You'll be, you'll be either involved in that case and call to testify as to what you did. You moved the body. You destroyed this. You did that. No. You want to be caught up in something like that guy? No. All right. So, then you have CSI. You have a lot of cop shows. Oh, there's so many I can't name them all. And it wouldn't be fair to start naming them all. Just look at all the cop programming. And you'll come to find out that Ooh, that person's tampering with the evidence. Scandal. Ooh, tampering with some evidence or potential evidence. Wow. Hid that. Hid this. Tapped into this. Don't do it. Please don't try to destroy the hard drive on the computer and cell phone. No. Those texts are off in cyber world somewhere in a cloud. Just be careful what you do. Be mindful. There's no need to get all wound up and get involved in this stuff in the first place. Okay. Elements make it up the crime of evidence tampering. Now, 
You can't alter anything. You can't so-called straight things out. You have to leave things be. Just as they were found. I didn't do nothing. I didn't move nothing. I didn't do nothing. Don't blame me. Okay? And they were just making sure. When they put that rope up, don't you cross that line. I don't care if your mother's laying there deceased. We need that evidence. Evidence is just not evidence after it's presented in a court of law or as it's being presented in a court of law. Evidence, once police have it, is not where it begins. Okay? Understand what evidence is. Evidence is the... Let me put it to you real simple. Evidence is the proof that a crime has been committed. How about that? All right. I don't get too deep on you guys. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it light. All right. As we learn. Now, number one, there are three acts. Suppressed. Now, look at put these words in your book. And look up the definitions. You don't have to rush through these courses, guys. All right. Suppressed, concealed, destroyed, altered, or falsified anything or fabricated false evidence. False appearing to be real. All right. Listen. Other than by... Perjury or supporting perjury or knowingly made use of fabricated false evidence. Number two, that was a mouthful. Listen, knew that it was or may be required as evidence. Remember, I told you the police don't have to have their hands on it. It just has to be a part or attached to a crime. You see a gun. The body's not there. The police went away. Can you take that gun and claim it as your own? No. Is that suppressing? It could be. Is that conceal your own greed? Why, why do you want the gun? Man, I know where the gun is at. Turn it into police, okay? It'll help with the case. You would want somebody to help you, true. Mm -hmm. It's nice to be nice. It really is. All right? To be known to be a fair person, a kind person. Ooh. That's, those, those are badges of honor. All right? And your own children would be so happy that you did something like that. Okay, now... Let me read two again. Knew that it was or may be required as evidence in any judicial proceeding. Any. It could be a divorce situation. It could be uh, a criminal situation. A civil matter. Okay? Where a person is being sued. In an animal case. Alright? It said any judicial proceeding. Number three. It was done with intent. To mislead any judicial tri tribunal in any judicial judicial proceeding. Now, penalty. One year upwards to 20 years for this crime. Penalties. Evidence tampering. Damages occurred and cured will begin at $10,000 and up. Now, a gun. <laughs> Wait a minute. Need I tell you. A gun may be 200 to 500, depends on, you know, what kind of gun you want. Maybe $700. You want, think about it. Now, I don't have to say nothing anymore. Well, I just took the, um, the bullets out. Well, I just took the clip out. You're tampering with evidence. We need that. So you're going to fork over $10,000 or up and cost the court and risk one to 20 years for tampering with evidence. I didn't know it was evidence. Yes, you did. Why are you whispering? <laughs> why, you, why aren't you loud about it? Okay? There's a difference. You're keeping it quiet. You know what you're doing. All right? Most people do. 
Let the whole neighborhood know. Because, man, this bitch said, man, that might be evidence. Turn that in. That happens all the time in communities in the inner city. Most stuff you find on the ground or wherever tucked away is evidence. <laughs> Turn it in. Fingerprints are on stuff, and you don't, you know, don't touch stuff, too. Think about it. Your fingerprints might go on it. A conspiracy charge can be added to most crimes, which may increase or double your sentence. This is real simple. Don't put your hands on it. Call the cops. All right, if you will. Call the pow pow. Let them know I found something. I found some woman's purse. I found this. I found that. I came across this. I came across that. Don't put your hands on it. Don't touch it. Fingerprints and D D DNA. All right. Skin cells. You don't want to be caught up in no mess. Leave it alone. Tell them you found it. You could be right there. Okay? Could be a deceased woman's driver's license and, and some money in there or the money was taken out. You think they're going to believe you? Leave it alone and keep it stepping. <laughs> Let's move quickly on to insurance fraud. Now, I might have to slow down here with you on insurance fraud because you don't hear too much of this on television but I'm quite sure that you do hear of evidence tampering don't touch things don't touch things okay all right guys let's keep it rolling you did that was a quickie I don't have much to say all right but don't get caught up in the madness it's not worth it all right take your test Let's keep going, because before you know it, we're going to be at 98, 99, and 100. That's going to be really nice. And then you're going to get your diploma. And you're going to be so proud of yourself. Ooh, because this has been a journey, but it's a necessary thing. It's very necessary for everyone to learn the law. So you don't get hurt. Your family members don't get hurt. Someone you love or fell in love with doesn't get hurt. Or the baby and the child that you have. See, there's going to be people born, okay? When you're 18 or whatever age, there's going to be people born coming in. And you want them to learn the laws too, don't you? So we got to get the word out. The word is out. <laughs> okay, I didn't say I was a singer. All right now. Get the word out. Everybody got to learn the law in America. That's right. And there are no exceptions. Physically handicapped, mentally challenged, it matters not. I don't care how picky you want to be. The law ain't picky. One-fifth of a ream of paper must be understood, must be addressed. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. 800-pound gorillas, leave them alone. They bite you. Let me tell you what wins. The trees always win when a car is involved. Poles always win when cars are involved. Okay? And you always win when you don't break the law. Knowing the laws help you not to break. Oh, was that profound? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Laws work when you don't break them. They just sit there. They don't say, would you come and break me? <sighs> Let me see which law I will break today. <laughs> don't do that. Some people don't have anything else better to do with their time. But I tell you what, even the law don't say it, don't play with the law. All right, guys, let's keep it rolling. This is a short one. 57, insurance fraud. It's all about the money. All right? You know somebody into this? You know, let me tell you this. There are those kind of kids that get into anything and everything, thinking they're cool, and they always go, hey, you know what? I heard we can get some money, like insurance fraud. What? And they got the whole plan. They saw it on TV. Put it in your face. Or read it in a book. 
Because you people don't come here knowing how to break the law. Because they don't even know the laws exist. But I'm telling you that they exist. Because I'm fair. Cop to America is fair. McGruff is one program. There is one program. We address it all. We are fair across the board. I want you to know that these laws exist. You should know that these laws exist. Because we want the people who really break these laws to be arrested. End of subject. Don't you? All right. Let's move on. Take the test. The weight of my mistakes Depends on how I feel Don't let it bring you down The weight of what I say Depends on how I don't 